Hey y'all, so I'm back. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video just discussing like where I've been and why I've been gone and maybe what you have to look for. Uh, my skin looks good though. Let me look. <laughs> I'm sorry, my skin looks good. Um, so yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, where I've been, um, why have I been gone. So in short, I've been gone just because I've been busy as hell. Like I work at two different spas. I have two different jobs within the spa. Well, it's technically three different jobs within the spa. I have my own clientele and then I have astrology clients, which I'm behind on them as well. So like a few of you might be my astrology clients and you're like, dude, where's my natal chart? And it's because I'm crazy busy. Um, that's not an excuse. It's just, you know, informing you guys, keeping you guys informed. Um, I ha already created three videos for this channel and my TikTok. Check out my TikTok at Everything Symbolic. It's the same name, just at TikTok. Um, and I have like a lot of videos on TikTok that if you're not subscribed to my TikTok, like I have like a billion videos that you've never seen. Like I'm doing this Love and Lust Astrology series, which is like been going on forever, but I cover like I covered all the Mars placements. I covered all the Virgo, not Virgo, Venus placements. It's basically just like, if you have Venus in Virgo, like what to expect in your love life um, and things like that. Like problems you may have, the, the good side of it too. Um, Cause I like to cover the good and the bad. Cause I feel like mainstream astrologers, they just like, they tell you all the good stuff I feel like that's what people want to hear, but I feel like you have to listen to the bad stuff as well, too, because, like, how are you going to grow? Like, I feel like astrology is a system that should be used um, for, like, information, but it should also be used for growth. Um, but, yeah, the other reason is that, like, in the midst of all of this, like, I have been suffering. I'm good now, but I was suffering with, like spiritual confusion which i just feel like that's just the nature of spirituality the sign that's most connected to spirituality is pisces and pisces is this mutable changeable sign that represents everything and anything and it's it's, it's it changes a lot like you know one minute is good one minute is evil the next minute is hot and then the next minute is cold that's why piscean people tend to make good actors because they can just assume any role they can be anything um and i just feel like that's just the nature of spirituality it's just a part of like existing um in this body but even before we got to this body i feel like existence was always kind of confusing um but yeah, so I was dealing with spiritual confusion. I'm like, should I be practicing astrology? Should I be practicing witchcraft? Because like, like, I used to practice witchcraft big time. I don't really as much anymore. Uh, partially because I like, for a while I was like, should I be doing this? But also because like, I'm in a place where I don't really need to. We're gonna discuss all that though. It come, and coming up in the future, we're gonna discuss all of that. Um, I am gonna make a few more astrology videos too, because the three videos that I recorded, they're not astrology related. They're like um, Bible and Christianity related, which this, this channel is not just for astrology. If you are confused by where this channel is going, it's not just for astrology, it's for like, like this, how the subconscious mind works and just spirituality in, in general and just like my thoughts on these things. It's more of a philosophy channel than a astrology channel. But astrology is going to take like it is a heavy, it's like a pillar of the channel. So yeah, that's where I've been at. Um, that's why I've been gone. I'm back now. I'm going to try to be as consistent as possible. What does that look like? I'm hoping at least a couple videos a week. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Sometimes I get discouraged because I'm like, I'm talking to two different people. Like, I'm talking to two people, even though I have 30 subscribers, but it just feels like I'm talking to like two people. But like, I'm never going to grow if I don't produce more content. So hopefully it takes off one day. Hopefully I'm talking to at least a thousand people at some point. 
I want it to be far bigger than that, of course. But like, if I'm talking to a thousand people, it's like, okay. Like I envision a thousand people in front of me and it's like, okay, you, you're all here to see me talk. So let me talk and let me keep it going. Um, but yeah, be on the lookout. Thank you.